There are tales told throughout the ages. Legends scrawled across blood-stained pages. Fables and morals to teach us how to live. Lessons to be learned on how to love and to forgive. Then there are the stories that chill to the bone of ghouls and goblins invading our homes. But the following tale is no ordinary thriller, just the legend of a very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf, quietly observing as time ticked beneath. And the moon, she did cast her gaze afar to distant sea and long dead star. So spoke the moon as she sank into Sunday. The dawn of a new age had begun. I am the sun, treacherous and unrepentant, master of life and death. All shall bow before me or face oblivion with my fiery hands. World of slugs, I give birth to the chosen one. The words of the sun echoed aloud, and from out of the egg came a caterpillar proud. Oh, how I have yearned for this day to come, when feet meet soil and all are one. But by gosh, I am very, very hungry. So did end the day of Sunday. The creatures of the wood told tales of his birth. Of a time long promised of joy and mirth, they did not hear the apple's scream as he swallowed her whole with voracious glee. But still he was hungry. So did end the day of Monday. The day of Tuesday began with a roar as the brothers' pair collapsed to the floor. A feast of frenzy and neat little treats. Never had he tasted flesh so sweet. When the dust had settled and word had grown asunder, still the little caterpillar was very, very hungry. The wood did whisper with tales of dissent, of murder and treason with no hope to repent. Not one, not two, but three plums were slain. To fill up the hole where his soul once had lain. The day was Black Wednesday, forever henceforth. But still his hunger grew with unfathomable force. Whisper turned to fury as the wood did rebel. To fight back the tide, the horde made in hell. 
but they were no match for his rampant bloodlust. As strawberries times four were turned into dust. The destroyer of worlds, they cried as he dismembered. On a Thursday evening, none would live to remember. Panic ensued and the wood fell to chaos as families fled homes and yelled. His eyes were like fire, his stomach did expand the day that five oranges fell by his hand. More! I need more! Did the beast rage on as Friday came to a violent conclusion? Saturday was once the happiest of days, where children played in a warm, carefree haze. But now the children weeped at the loss of all hope, as they found themselves sliding down his venomous throat. One piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one sausage, one slice of salami, one cupcake and one lollipop, one slice of Swiss cheese, one cherry pie, one slice of watermelon. It's never enough! roared the beast as his hunger consumed all around him, leaving a desolate landscape of waste. Soon there was nothing left to eat, and the no longer hungry caterpillar did take up his seat on the throne of kings, with no kingdom left to rule. Oh, mighty son, how oh, I have been a fool! Disgusted and bloated, his stomach began to ache and he slipped into a dream from which he hoped he would never wake. A dream of a time when all were one. The sun, the moon, and the woods still had fun. When everyone was happy and all lived in perfect harmony. But as long as there is life, there will be death. As long as there is weakness, there will be those who will exploit it. Am I the strong? Am I the weak? Am I the hero? Am I the villain? Am I the cause, symptom or cure to the disease of life itself? And then he awoke and beheld the sun, whose gaze pierced his heart like a bullet from a gun. Say what you have become, oh little chosen one, a winged angel of the wood from where you once came from. Softly spoke the moon in the distant haze, and the caterpillar knew this was the end of days. He beat his wings upon the ground, his voice rung deep, alive and proud. Take me home, sun in the sky, the very last of the butterflies! <laughs> and he flew into death's fiery embrace leaving behind that desolate place. For amongst the ruins had sprung a leaf. Who knew 